deck of the second and larger of the two imperial galleys sunk in Lake Nemi has now been brought above water, and like the first, which is now temporarily installed in a large hangar by the lakeside, its framework was so rotten that it had to be treated as quickly as possible with tar, linseed oil and turpentine, if it was not to fall to pieces in the heat of Rome's summer sun. Shipbuilders of today are astonished at the advanced state of the technique of construction in those days. The very proportions of the first vessel, 68 metres length of keel, 69 of deck and 20 of breadth, aroused their admiration, for wooden vessels of such size were entirely unknown even in the Middle Ages and only began to reappear in the 16th century. Another remarkable discovery was that the ancients were familiar with ball bearings. Sheaves turning on balls or cylinders were available on board the galley for handling heavy objects. There was also even a well-constructed pump with two cylinders, the pistons of which were lined with leather. And there were two anchors absolutely perfect in construction. One is of iron and wood, and the other of wood with a movable lead weight. The latter is no less than 12 feet long and corresponds to the so-called Admiralty Anchor, reinvented about the middle of the last century and introduced into the British Navy in 1852. Truly, the ancient shipbuilders of Imperial Rome, at the height of their glory, were master craftsmen.